Hello everyone, peace be with you and thank you so much for joining me here at the Galaxy with God Love Notes. Of course, not everything in this reading will resonate with you. Please use your discernment, take what does and leave the rest. However, if this reading happens to resonate with you, please let me know by commenting down below or liking this message. Okay, thank you so much again my new and returning subscribers, I really appreciate you all. Thank you so much for being a part of my journey and please feel free to communicate here all right i'm gonna be doing a reading for the earth sign taurus virgo and capricorn earth sign thank you spirit earth sign what message you have for earth sign thank you i think three all right so Someone could be going through a lot of challenges at this time. They have recognized that these challenges that they are going through was because they weren't open towards a particular friendship or relationship. They were supposed to be open towards a relationship, but they recognize that no. So these were real challenges. This card says all true soul connection involve challenges that can be overcome together. So this person is feeling to me as if they weren't a team player in a relationship. Someone was holding something back from someone. As a result, they were, there was no openness in this relationship. So I'm not sure what happened, but um, let me get some message from the tarot. So this is where the challenges start because someone was not open it feels as if this person was hiding something or they weren't cherishing the relationship as they should they didn't want to cherish the relationship so i'm not sure if it went apart what's happening here Holy Spirit? yeah i have the ten of wands in the reverse Someone wasn't open in a relationship and someone is now putting down the burden, releasing something, or they feel like someone is releasing them because someone was not open enough. Someone is saying no to something and lightening their load. Why are the cars are coming up in the reverse? Why are the cards coming up in the reverse? Well, I have a three of wands in the reverse also. So I have a ten of wands and a three of wands. So there was a lack of planning. So someone was strategically not open in a open in a relationship. And as a result, there were some obstacles placed where someone maybe wanted clarity. Someone wanted clarity or some light to be shed on a situation, but this created a lot of frustration for someone and create some unexpected delays in the relationship. Now, as a result of all that, someone released the burden, not wanting to carry this burden anymore. They are saying no and they are freeing themselves from this person or this relationship that they were in where someone was not open enough to share how they feel and vice versa, you know. Anything else, Spirit? Anything else? What's happening here? Anything else we need to know? Anything else we need to know? Yeah. I have the Four of Cups in the reverse. So someone, as I said earlier, Someone is leaving because someone was not open enough to share how they feel maybe about you or about a situation. So someone is having a new outlook with the four of cups here. Someone is seeing things differently. They're retreating. There's, there's clarity shed on the situation. So they, they know it's now time to snap out of it, to get out of that situation. They're choosing their happiness and accepting the, the um, situation surrounding what this was. Someone is snapping out of that. 
um illusion i should say man anything else for i'm losing my cards uh yeah i have a ten of swords in the reverse so someone is recovering from a heartbreak so it could be you it could be you um earth sign recovering from a, from a heartbreak ten of swords you have learned the lesson so you learned the lesson and you're moving on anything for this ten of swords you're moving on from a two of cups relationship a very close bond a unified bond it could be a twin flame relationship that you're moving on from or someone who wants to come in with fast communication <coughs> i'm sorry someone wants to come in and talk with you earth sign anything for earth sign yeah I <coughs> I have the eight of cups so as i said this is a close bond that you're moving from because someone was not open to explain and express themselves to you so you're moving on releasing the burden and you're moving on to a situation walking into the unknown you're letting go and you're searching for the truth which was already revealed to you and that's the reason you're moving forward you're leaving you're leaving yeah, you're leaving and you're standing your ground. You're defending your territory. You're defending your peace. No one is going to be troubling your peace anymore. And I have the love lovers. So whatever the choice is, lovers could be Gemini's energy. So Earth sign, you could be dealing with a Gemini. Or who else we have here? We have water sign, fire sign. Anyways, um, yeah, so you could be moving on, maybe even loving yourself more. The love you poured into someone else, you're now looking at it as, why am I not pouring the same energy, the same love I poured into someone else, onto myself? So it feels as if someone is now divinely connected deeply in love with their both masculine and feminine side of them or you could be mo making a choice to go towards a new love or a new lover is either yourself or you're going to be moving towards a new lover anything else to close this reading Holy Spirit? For our earth sign anything else to close the reading for our earth sign give me the card that best describes the energy I'm supposed to see anything for my earth signs yeah they're coming up as a queen of cups very compassionate very warm and intuitive so intuitively you knew what <coughs> I'm sorry intuitively you knew what was happening yep you're an empath you could be a healer so you know what was happening why this person was not open with you they gave you a complete um ending painful ending that you're now healing from so you're healed from this and you're moving on possibly loving yourself more as a healer you could be you could heal yourself or getting intuitive messages from the divine how to heal you could be working on yourself very you now you're coming up as a queen of cups the king of cups very balanced in your energy and you, very supportive anything else to close this reading holy spirit anything else to close this reading i have a two of pentacles and so now you're no longer juggling your thoughts you're no longer juggling your thoughts you are now able well the two of two of pentacles in the reverse yeah you're not you're not committing to this you're not confused you're not committing to this you're just moving on loving yourself anything else for anything else anything else to close a reading and I, and you have the strength to do so could be dealing with a leo you have the strength you have the unconditional love you have the inner peace 
you have compassion, you have self-love and respect. So as I said before, you're maybe moving on with the lover's card. It is not telling me that you're moving on to someone else, but you could be moving on from the situation, putting more love and energy and attention to yourself, which you used to give to others. So you're putting more love to yourself, more attention because you love and respect yourself. <clears throat> One more card. I have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. <laughs> so someone was lazy. Someone was lazy and irresponsible, possibly with your energy, your time, your love, taking you for granted. Someone give you a complete, possibly complete silence, not open toward, not open to you, not opening your thoughts, their emotion. They just closed off, and that was a challenge that you had in this relationship. They didn't cherish the relationship, so as a result, you walked away because you are intuitive. You're a healer. They left you completely drained. <clears throat> drained out but now you've learned the lesson <coughs> i'm sorry you have completely learned learned a new lesson possibly how to let go how to love enough forgive and to let go all right i have the king of swords at the back so you had mental clarity on this you're coming out as very intelligent very Balance, head over heart. You're not using your heart right now to make this decision. You're using your your head. Yeah, you're using your head. All right, I'm gonna get one message here. Spirit, what guidance would you wanna share on this? Oops. Thank you. Forgiveness heals. Yes, as I said, the lesson you possibly learn is to love, forgive, heal, and move on. So this card says, forgiveness heals. Time to release repressed anger, and it's blocking your health and happiness. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for confirmation. Yes, and I also have ceremonies and celebration. So it could be, no, you're moving on with the strength. You're moving on. So they're wanting you to go out and be happy, celebrate with friends and families. You know, the other card I get is healthy communication in relationships. Healthy communications in relationships. It says heart-to-heart -heart discussion and clear assert assertive communication help you understand and be understood. I'll repeat, healthy communication in relationships, heart-to-heart -heart discussion and clear, assertive communication help you understand and be understood. So as I said, this person was not open in, in terms of communicating with you. They were closed off. This person possibly was wearing a mask. So Spirit want for you to... Move on, forgive and heal, as I mentioned before. Forgiveness heals. Time to release repressed anger as it blocks your healing and happiness. So these two cards come together. Healthy communication in a relationship. You learn this, how to communicate healthy. You're going to move on and you're going to heal from the situation. So collectives, thank you so much again for joining me here at the Galaxy with God of Notes. Peace. I leave with you. Goodbye.